hello friends my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial in this video tutorial we are going to see practical exposure what we had discussed in the previous video tutorial so here we are going to look how to manage the spring life cycle callback methods like init and destroy and we'll see how to specify the scope of a bean when we use uh, java based configuration right so this is the project which i had created in very first video uh, in spring java based configuration let me explain you this project so here i have a one model class is called message which contains two private fields and corresponding public setter getter method and i have a two string method over it and over here and these two fields are just i am initializing just have a, i have hard coded using at the rate value annotations right now i have a configuration file which is on almost analogous to the spring xml configuration i have given the name as message config and this class i have annotated as at the rate configuration right that indicates indicating that this is a configuration file now i have created a method is called get message which returns the instance of message and uh, mass and uh, this method i have annotated at the rate bean so that means this instance now this is not a simple instance it's a spring bean instance when i say spring bean means this is registered in the spring container so if i take any action on this object right then a spring is going to take care of this so a spring is going to take track the, those uh, changes right now name i have given the message so a spring will create an instance of this class and that will register in the spring container with this name and auto wire we have given by name i can have, we can also specify by type but in this video tutorial uh, we are going to see how to uh, specify the callback methods like init and destroy and we'll see also how can we uh, specify the a scope of a bean so if you didn't if you do not specify any scope then by default single term now in client program just uh, I have created an instance of annotation config application context and I'm passing the configuration file name, uh, file class here and just I'm passing this bean ID which I had specified over here so spring will give me the instance of this class from the container and that same I am receiving here and trying to print PT state forward example. Now I am going to make another copy of this project just which just I have explained to you and I, I would keep the spring here a spring uh, bean call back and scopes java based uh, config example it's a too huge name that's fine no problem at all now let's close all files and here we are going to see how to uh, in this configuration file how we can specify the first of all callback method so if you look into the attributes in at the rate bean annotation then there are a lot of attributes you have a init and destroy right before that what i would like to sh tell you uh, let's define a two callback methods like init and destroy in this uh, uh, class and before uh, doing show what i we can do implements uh, we can implement two uh, uh, a callback uh, interface that is called initializing bean and disposable bean this is uh disposable bean and these two interface uh has in every interface uh, we have a one method in a disposable bean we have a method is called destroy so here we can kind uh, we can write the some kind of uh, cleanup kind of code so here just i'm going to specify uh, just i'm going to print bean is going to destroy so then before destroying this bean i mean this bean from the container spring will call this method and if you want to take some action then those kind of code you can place over here and this method is going to call once uh, this bean is created and corresponding setter method will be called means in corresponding initialization will happen after that this method is going to call after property set so name is itself saying that after property set so i would say bean is 
going through init process right so simply i have given two messages but in real scenario you can have a some business logic over here some kind of initialization stuff and uh, nothing else and if i run the client program then see what output we are getting uh, and let's see if this two callback method is getting called or not so of course so this first of all bean is going through and it is getting printed means uh, this whatever code we have written inside this after property set that is getting called after that i mean a state of the object is getting printed uh, in the client program and finally bean is going to destroy is getting printed so this two callback method have been has been called so this is the one of the way to handle these two callback methods but uh, problem with this is method this process uh, if you have a hundred of hundreds of beans and every bean has to implement these two interface they do these two methods then every bean has to implement this callback method so that's the overhead for a developer so not to do so we have another approach so there you don't need to basically implement these two callback interface and uh, even you don't need to adhere with the method name right here you have a option to choose method name anything so here i'm going to specify method name in it and this why i'm fine for this and you can use gsr 250 annotation so first uh, destroy method will have to annotate with at the rate pre destroy and gsr 250 annotations belongs to the jdk bundle itself so you don't need to even add i mean spring related uh, jars for this so post construct before init method so these two callback methods and basically this con press control shift o for organize import and this now this is not a simple class because this is a spring bean right why is spring bean because instantiate we have instantiated over here and we have annotated this method as a at the rate bean so this now bean is a spring container is going to track whatever you are doing over here in this class right so if i run it then this callback method is going to call okay so you can see callback method is getting called so this is the second approach and third approach you have if you don't want to use even annotation jsr 250 annotations so let's comment it press control shift o for organize import and here while annotating this method at uh, annotating this method as at the rate bean here you have an attribute right here you have an attribute like uh, you can see init method so here you can specify the init method name so that is nothing but the init and here you can also specify destroy methods and method name is destroy right so this is very much similar when you register a spring class a java class as a spring bin in a spring configuration file right so when you uh, when you write a bin tag then along with the bin tag we have a lot of attributes right there you have a auto wire you need destroy and many more attributes we had here we have a this much attribute so in it and destroy and uh, let's run this program and see this callback method is getting called or not so so we are getting some exception let's see what is that so saying that in it signature destroy method can't destroy method i think the method name is wrong so what is that uh, okay spelling of this method is wrong so let's correct it and let's try it out again and here we get the output so this method is also working perfectly fine now how we can specify the scope of the bin if you do not specify any scope then a scope would be single turn itself right so you can test here so oh, what is the type of a scope of your bean so here you have you can check each singleton and here you can pass the bean id that is nothing but the message and you can store in this local variable and you can print it over here so each singleton if i try to print then this will give you the true because by default bean is the singleton saying that true right now how we can specify if you i want the bin as 
been a scope as a prototype then we have a annotation right a scope so a scope you can specify like uh, uh, a scope name you can specify prototype right and if I run this then this is gonna return you false because now bin is prototype now saying that false because now bin is prototype so that's all these are the things I had discussed in the I mean previous slide and we have seen corresponding practical examples so I hope you understood whatever we had discussed in the slide so thanks for watching and this code I am going to put on the github and github location I will specify in the video description. So this project contains the all dependent charts so simply you need to download from the github and uh, import in your eclipse and uh, go to the client program right click over here and you when you do run as java application simply you will get the output like this. So thanks for watching this video and see you next video tutorial.